Hey everybody, I'm Adam, uh, creator of the Daggerfish Hand Reel. We're here at a little campsite in southern Pennsylvania, and I'm going to show you guys a couple of methods to cast and reel your Daggerfish Hand Reel. Uh, there's three different methods I'm going to show you. The first is the best one for being in like deep brush. So if you, you've got a stream that you need to approach, and you, the only way to get to the right spot is to actually go through the uh, bushes and brush, and you're in real tight, you can't get a lot of backswing. Uh, this first method is called the flick, and this is the easiest way to just get the uh, line tossed out into the water a tiny uh, bit of distance. So I've got a basic setup here. This is a little shortened just to show you, show you guys. Uh, what I'm going to do is just hook my finger around the top of the line here, and then bring my hand back and forward, and just flick the line out into the water. This won't go very far, but this is uh, the best method, like I said, for being in close quarters and just getting the line out into the water a little ways. Second method I'm going to show you guys, it's called the toss. The toss is really good for live bait. Anything that, you know, where like a strong cast might actually rip the bait off of the, uh, into the hook. It's a very gentle cast, a very easy one to do. And the way we do this is we're just going to collect some of our tackle here into our hand. I like to keep the hook outside of my hand just so it doesn't get tangled up. So we collect that in our hand here, spool out a little bit of line. And all I'm going to do is bring my hand across my body and then uh, back out on the other side of my body here and just gently toss this line into the water. So back into the water. This will go a pretty decent distance, you know, a little ways offshore. Um, but like I said, this one is the best one for casting a live bait into the water and then letting it float. Last method I'm going to show you is the best one for distance. So if you've got especially something like a spinning lure or uh, something a little bit heavier on the end of your line, um, and you really need to get it out far into the middle of a pond or um, into a hole towards the uh, center of a stream, uh, this is a great method for getting a long distance cast. You can actually get uh, casts comparable to a normal rod and reel with this method called the whip. So with the whip, we're going to just take the line in our hand and we're going to start rotating it around to get some momentum up. And then when we release it, we're going to point the end of the daggerfish in the direction we want it to go because that line is going to spool straight off the top. So a little bit of momentum and then release. And that'll go as far as you need it to go. Uh, further the, or the more uh, weight you have on the end of your line, the further that kind of cast will go. But like I said, you can get this pretty much uh, into any spot that you need to get a, a standard uh, line out into. So now reeling in. You notice when I'm reeling in, I'm actually rotating my hands around. I'm not trying to like wind it or even spin the reel. I'm just rotating both my hands around each other to get the line wrapped around the reel here. A lot of people ask me like, does this hurt? Is this dangerous? It's not at all. You don't have to put a lot of pressure on your hand here. You don't have to pull the line in with your hand. Um, you're using the leverage of the reel to actually wind everything in. So I'm just holding, gently pinching here and rotating my wrists so that this line is wound back in uh, and wound up that way. The, uh, if you need to like twitch your line in, if you've got like a spinning jig or a spinning bait or something like that, or you want a jig, um, you can actually, uh, Twist your hand a little bit with the line uh, to twitch that bait in, and then take up the slack, twitch a little bit, take up the slack. And if you're in a situation where you need to set very quickly, you can actually draw your uh, draw the line in with your hand, kind of strip down the, um, the line in order to quickly move the hook and set it in the uh, lip of the fish. So there you go. A couple of very easy methods to get started uh, reeling and casting your dagger fish. It's really a very easy tool to use, um, great for beginner fishermen, and really excellent for advanced fishermen who need a second line or are trying to get into a remote part of the backcountry that other fishermen can't get to. You can find all these products on our website, daggerfishgear.com. We'll see you there.